What's up everyone? I recorded this video on Thursday, February 10th, 2022, and it's about 3 o'clock p.m. And in this video, I want to bring attention to a very pressing issue for the communities of Chinatown and Tribeca. And it has to do largely with this over here, the Manhattan Detention Complex, or locally known as the Tombs. And the issue is, in two weeks, they're slated to knock this down and start building the world's tallest jail. And no one I know in the local community wants this jail to be built. It's going to be devastating for the communities of Chinatown and Tribeca with all the construction around and also the quality of life issues that's going to come with it. And in this video, I'm going to be walking from here to City Hall and also showing the immediate area and what's going to be affected. So this detention center is located on Center Street and White Street. You can see this Vietnamese restaurant is going to have to be uh, relocated. This entire area is going to be roped off and construction is going to be proceeding. But hopefully someone in city government listens to me and the local community to pull the plug on this entire thing because uh, I'm quite outraged that this is going to be allowed to happen. So here's the building, the Manhattan Detention Center. There's uh, two buildings here. This is the North Tower, which I think opened in the late 80s or early 90s. And even when this building was being built, there was a lot of uh, protests against it. And this is the South Building, which I think has been here since the 1940s. Right now, from my understanding, these two uh, jails have mostly been emptied and the inmates have been moved to other places in the city. It's a pretty bleak looking place if you look at it. There's uh, barely any windows, there's bars. It's what you expect from a jail. But this community does not need a taller jail. And the whole reason why this jail is being built is because of the future closure of Rikers Island. So back in 2017, the former mayor of New York City, Mayor de Blasio, he uh, wanted to push for the closure of Rikers Island by 2027. And back then there was a lot of bad press about the island, how the inmates were being treated, how mismanaged the departments of corrections were, among other things. So that's why they decided to close the island, or uh, that's one of the reasons why they decided to close the island. But I suspect something a little bit more hidden underneath that we're not being told. Because with the closure of that island, Rikers Island, that's the largest jail system in the city, all these inmates are going to have to go to other places. So the city drafted this plan over 10 years to put a jail in each borough, except for Staten Island, to replace the closure of the jails on Rikers Island. Now that will be okay, except for the fact that many of these jails are being built in areas where there's already established communities and it's causing much outrage because uh, as you figure, no one really wants a jail to be built in their neighborhood where it's already established and a local community. And building this super tall jail is gonna cause a lot of havoc to the local places around here. They're gonna use Center Street and Baxter Street for the construction vehicles. These buildings also over here, they're very old. They probably have lead and asbestos in them. 
Actually, they do because they're that old. And there's going to be a lot of quality of life issues. And uh, many of these restaurants and businesses over here I go to, I know they're personally going to get affected by all the closure of the streets and the construction here. It's going to cause a lot of harm. And if this goes on for like five plus years, eight years more, if there's going to be delays, it's going to be a nightmare. And I don't think these places are going to survive. So. Hopefully with this video, I'm going to bring a little bit more awareness to this situation. I know the local community as well as uh, other groups have voiced their concerns about the jail. I've sent emails about it as well. But I don't know uh, what's going to happen. It's going to be pretty sad if this is going to be allowed to proceed, especially since most of the community here is against it. So one thing I really, really hate about the city here is the politics that are played. All these businesses, I think, have relocated now due to the, uh, the proposed demolition of this jail here. This used to be a restaurant called New York Bo Key. I come, came here all the time to eat. I don't know where they are now, but... They're already struggling from the pandemic and now they got to move again because of this jail. It's crazy. At least here there's a uh, community fridge. This is benefiting the community rather than uh, taking away from the community with the construction of this jail. But all these places here are going to be impacted. I think over here is a uh, senior living center that is going to be impacted as well. This bakery, think about it, all these seniors, they're going to be affected by this construction, there's going to be noise, there's going to be uh, air issues. I don't know why the city hasn't found a better plan for this. And the closure of Rikers Island does not make any sense. Because uh, if there was a problem with the Department of Corrections and how they were mistreating the inmates and whatnot, do you think that closing the island and spreading it around to different places around the city is going to solve it? It's still the same agency. The island needs to be rehauled and the uh, management of that agency maybe needs to change. You see here, here's a daycare and the community health center. This is going to be affected. This pharmacy as well. Unbelievable. This office here, the real estate, as well as all these places across the street too. There are places in the city with open land which do not have developed communities, which I believe are much suited for a jail. Of course, uh, those places will probably have to go through environmental reviews and whatnot, but it'll be a much better place to put a new jail over there rather than cause a mess here in local communities like this here in Chinatown. So let's go across the street to Baxter. This restaurant, super, super good restaurant. They're going to be affected. After all, a jail is just a place to hold people who have committed crimes against society. Why would you need a jail in a desirable place here such as Chinatown? Why not put them on North Brother Island where that island is completely abandoned? 
where Typhoid Mary used to be. This uh, place for Lini is going to be impacted. In fact, they get a lot of business from the courts across the street and the uh, Department of Corrections because they come right across the street here to eat. And with all this construction, they're going to be affected. Here's Thai Sun Vietnamese cuisine. I know it's a very popular place. I come here frequently as well. All these places here I come frequently. Uh, Michelin Guide. I don't know how they're going to do with the construction that's going to happen to this area. Na Trang One. I like this place because of the uh, sugar cane uh, counter here. You can get a drink. But this jail construction is not going to be good for this place. I really hope that the plans are pulled and I can make a little bit of a difference to stop this from happening. Here's a Pasteur Vietnamese. I've eaten here too. The staff are very nice. For rent by owner. I don't know how easily this is going to rent if there's construction across the street. The break room. This place is great for tacos. Look right here. Stop the jail, save Chinatown, February 6th, but that already passed. Uh, this is already four days after, but hey, it's never too late to stop this jail until the day when they start demolishing it. And even then it's possible to stop the construction of the jail. bail bonds. This wouldn't even have to be here if it wasn't for the jails across the street. The Whiskey Tavern. Excellent place. And here's the South Tower. This was the uh, original building. And then the newer building was over here. When this jail over here was proposed to be built, Chinatown protested against this one too, but they were not able to stop it. This nail salon is going to be impacted. Another bail uh, bond spot. Appetize as well. This is a great spot to get some quick bites to eat. So um, originally, this area over here was built on a piece of uh, property called the Collect Pond. Got a little bit sidetracked there because I see that guy there in handcuffs and moving him. I don't like to see scenes like this. In a perfect society, we wouldn't need jails. But um, originally, this land was owned by the Lenape Native American Indians, and there was a freshwater source here called the Collect Pond. But uh, as the city got developed and more people started using the pond, also polluting it, the Collect Pond was drained and uh, the water was drained out onto the canal of Canal Street. But that pond is no more. Here's uh, Columbus Park. This park is also going to be affected by the construction. Who knows if they won't use part of the park to store their construction materials.
This is the criminal courts building. People get sentenced right here and then they serve their time right next door at the detention complex. Let me make a right over here. We'll go around to the front and then I'll take my final walk to City Hall. This criminal court's building looks just as depressing as the jail on the other side. District Attorney's Office. Speaking of Collect Pond, I'll even show you um, the park across the street here. It's called the Collect Pond Park. So at least they recognize the existence of Collect Pond. It was the largest uh, freshwater source in New York City. That's another thing too. I think uh, the local community group here sued the city to stop the jail and they were successful on their initial, um, initial court case, but the higher courts overturned that decision and they uh, sued it based on an environmental concern, saying that the review is too quick and other things. I don't really know the specific details about it, But there are environmental concerns here too because uh, underneath us is swampy land, the Collect Pond, with natural springs. And with this jail being built, I don't know if the infrastructure is going to be able to handle it and the foundation. The entire area may be sinking into the ground. Here's the criminal court building, and that's the detention center, the South Tower and the North Tower. And this over here is the uh, New York City Civil Court building. But let's take our final walk to City Hall. It's not too far away from here, just down here. I'm doing a uh, solo protest right now to protest the construction of this jail. Hopefully Mayor Adams and other people in the New York City government agencies and staff realize the impact that's going to happen to this community. I know that uh, he, Mayor Adams, actually opposed the construction of this jail during his mayoral campaign. But like a lot of dirty politics that happen in this country and elsewhere, sometimes people pull back on their promises. And there's still time to stop the 
demolition and construction of this jail. It's going to cause irreparable harm to the community, the businesses around here, quality of life. I mean, Chinatown has already gone through a lot too. With September 11th, all the dust came through here. People didn't want to come down here. The construction of the Brooklyn Bridge that uh, stops people from coming here. And also the closure of Park Row after September 11th. That was a vital link to connect the financial district to Chinatown. And now we've got this as well. Now we're entering the uh, Civic Center. We've got the uh, New York Supreme Courthouse over here, the U.S. Courthouse right next to it, Manhattan Municipal Building, and City Hall is just a few steps away from that building. And I'm going to allude back again to my point of uh, empty spaces in the city right here. Why not put the jail here? I mean, it's still close to Chinatown, but it's still a lot, lot better than demolishing the old building and putting up a new one. Why not put it here? The construction is still going to go on, but it won't be impacting Chinatown, not nearly as much. But then again, there are environmental issues. Like I said, there's a uh, swampy land over here. There's also the subway system and uh, things underneath it. But I'm just using this as an example. It just doesn't make sense to me. There has to be something more involved. People may be politically connected to each other or uh, other reasons, or maybe a land grab for Rikers Island that we're not being told about. Rikers Island, by the way, was built uh, a lot from the ashes from inmates who uh, constructed over there. And uh, I think also the landfill from LaGuardia Airport was uh, used to construct Rikers Island. It was originally like 100 acres, but it expanded to like four times its size.
All right, we're getting very close to the City Hall building now. This is the uh, David Dinkins Manhattan Municipal Building. The people who don't know would think this is the City Hall building, but it's not. City Hall buildings right in front of me, past the park. Once again, the construction of this new jail in Chinatown does not make sense. To me, it really only makes sense for the people involved with the construction of the project, the developers, the people who are politically motivated by this, yeah. and it does not serve the community. Almost the entire community, and even New York City uh, residents in general oppose the construction of new jails in the uh, boroughs of New York City. If anything, I can say, at least today, that I tried to stop the new Chinatown jail from being built. It's not going to get built with, without a little bit of resistance from me. And um, I guess if anyone wants to make a difference here to uh, stop the construction of this jail, maybe you can go to the New York City website send some emails to the mayor's office and try to get uh, something done because before you know it there's going to be construction vehicles there starting to knock down that building and cause a lot of disruption there's still time to stop this project Okay, here we are, New York City City Hall, and once again, I urge New York City Mayor Adams to pull the plug on this entire thing and to uh, hold true to your promise of not constructing this jail in Chinatown. Chinatown does not want it, New York City does not want it, find a better way and a better solution. And with that, I'm going to sign off. Thank you so much for watching this video. And uh, yeah, I'm glad I'm spreading some awareness about it. A lot, of, um, a lot of voices have been against this jail for a while. And I'm showing mine. So smash the like button. I'll see you later.